Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I went to a garage sale this weekend, and the family is moving to Puerto Rico, so their prices are like crazy, uh, crazy, <laughs> and I picked up some really cool stuff. So for um, my storage, I my storage, my in my office, I picked up two drawers that are... I think they might have been for VHS. They were a little bigger than 12 by 12 and about five, five or six inches high. And I stacked them on top of each other and they're holding my note cards. So all those notepads, um, they're holding those. And then I picked up a metal uh, paper sorting thing that's got, what has it got, three, six shelves. And I've already given that a home. And then I also picked up two uh, metal shelves. And they I already have two of the same metal shelves. They're like, what, four, maybe four by four, four feet by four feet. And they have four shelves on them. And I use one, I have one in here and I have one holding the Disney VHSs in one of my closets, the coat closet. And when I brought the one in here into my craft room, because I was buying so many books, I need a place for that. Um, I stole it out of my bedroom where my shoes were. <laughs> and the bookcase that I put in there is not big enough. So, um, so I got those, I got that, I got those two, and I got a shirt for a quarter that is really, really cute. Um, I'll probably wear it at some point. You'll see the sleeves and I'll tell you, this is my shirt I got for a quarter because it's really cute. It's very bright, very cheery. Um, so anyway, so on to the other things I got. Well, one of the things I got was this gigantic dictionary. It's a Webster's dictionary. It is that big. It is 1960 is the copyright. Um, it is falling apart, so I don't feel so bad that I'm going to be going in and taking it apart and um, using it. It has pictures, and then it also says it has maps. So I don't know. I Yeah, look at there. Full color maps in the back. Um, and tables. and so, so there we go. So it has maps. And... Um, yeah, so I either paid 25 cents or I paid a dollar. Um, so, uh, yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. And then she had, where did it go? It's funny. This atlas, it's from 1935. And it also is falling apart. And it has great maps. It has maps of all the states. Well, all the states that we had at the time. And um, so, and then the world. And then where uh, oats are grown and sheep and swine and cattle, farm animals. So, um, this potatoes, cotton, tobacco. Got coffee? There's, there's no one for coffee. Could put it in a coffee book, right? Um, yeah, since it's from 1935, I can't um, can't copy those. So gold and silver, value of crops, value of forest products, production of wealth, population density, water power. Pretty cool. So, um, look at that. Cities and towns of the world. Lake Erie. Cincinnati. I like those. The, I like these maps. I like a lot. <laughs> Boston. Um, anyway, so this is an atlas. And um, I think that this will be, be fun to be able to use. And it is vintage. So I do have some vintage kits that I'm putting together. So 
Um, I really want this stuff to actually be vintage. Um, this is a, what is it? Poems of Longfellow. Um, it's old, but it doesn't say, it doesn't have a date. It just says manufactured. Let's see. Prelude. See if maybe after. Yeah, nope. So there we go. Poems of Longfellow. I just thought it was cool. I, I was like, okay, I want that. Then she had this children's book. She had gotten it on eBay. Person asked her, you know, she was glad it was going to a good home. And so she was telling me the story about hoping it was going to a good home. And I says, well, it's going to go to a good home. And then it's going to go to many good homes. Because I'm probably going to cut it up. And, and um, probably. But I think it's kind of cool. I like the... Um, the pages, I love these two pages. So these will probably go in one of my books. Maybe my um, my outside book. My my What Did I See book. Um, thing that I want to make. I haven't made it yet. Okay, so we got everything from that side. Um, so I got some candle wicking thread. And I got that. It was in the free bucket. You all seen the string art going around. I wanted to do it. I thought it might make a really cool background pa or you know paper background paper for um, junk journal or even a flip book or scrapbook page. And I was like, oh, but I don't have any ink. And she had this ink. It is red violet. And um, so I was like, okay, I can try this. So I was excited. Then she um, had the the lids for the calligraphy pen, but we hadn't found the the pen itself yet. Um, so a pink measuring tape, also in the free thing, and some glitter. Because, you know, if you are a sparkly person, you just can't have enough glitter. <laughs> so, um, what else? Oh, and... One more book. There was a hymnal from 1982. And when there's a hymnal, I like to get them because um, when I make my uh, special order, like if somebody orders a prayer journal, I like to put their favorite song in it if I can. And that's usually where I'm going to find it is in, in a hymnal. So next I got this. All of her shirts were 25 cents. So this was on the 25 cent rack. And I bought it for the lace. It actually doesn't look bad on me. <laughs> but I was like, but Julie, you bought it for the lace. But it doesn't look bad. But it, you bought it for the lace. And then there was this little one. And I liked, I was like, oh, I can cut those daisies out. I can cut the flowers out of that. So um, 25 cents. I can do that. And then Mary Kay box. These are awesome. <laughs> okay, so I told her what I was doing with all this um, stuff. And she went back in the house and she came out with this container. It is full of handkerchiefs and scarves. So this one is the Golden Gate Bridge. The This one's definitely vintage. This one's silk, embroidered. Just a really pretty cotton handkerchief. A silky one. This one has Lily of the Valley on it. And look at, on the main one, it has a piece that is separate. And then the other corners each have a leaf on it. And then there's this one. This one is a clock face. Love it. So, and this one, this one's plain. This one's silky. This one has the little cars on it. I mean, there's just so many in here. This one with the orchids. This one with the lace edge. This one with the lace edge and 
the um, the cutout in the in it, and then you come over here, and there's a camp like a cabin one, and these pretty flowers. I just couldn't believe this. The white one, and then a whole bunch of these cotton, pretty little cotton ones. There's another, um, I think this is Golden Gate Bridge again. Look at these. Ah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like I just, I want to just go make something. Look at that lace. And another one that has Lily of the Valley. Blue. And the pink. Look at how dainty that is. That one. And then there was men's. And there was uh, this one. This little very dainty one. And look at, on this side it has that. And then on this side it has the little, the circle with the, the little piece. Ugh! Oh. <laughs> Can you hear my excitement? <laughs> oh, and one of the little, the heart, the crocheted heart things. And a black. And then a, this black one has, yeah, there it is. It has like an imprint on it. of A bouquet or a vase of flowers. And then there's several different white. This one has a monogram. This one has some blue, some lace. This is a headscarf. This one has the pretty lace. This one, and then the, the several men's handkerchiefs here. And then these are brand new down here at the bottom. These white ones are brand new. So I was like over the moon, crazy, oh my God amazing this is amazing amazing so yeah i'm just like this is crazy and it's i just want to make stuff now i don't want to i don't want to do anything else but make stuff because <laughs> i've got stuff to make stuff so we'll see how long i can sit in the chair <laughs> Because my back does hurt a little bit uh, from the accident <clears throat> on, uh, what was that, Friday? So, I um, thought I'd show you real quick. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and prepare this. Um, this will cut. So, I won't be wearing it. Um, you know, no sense in the bulk going into the lace drawer. Just the lace needs to go in the lace drawer. So I've already uh, processed the the bed skirt. Um, it was an easy one. I, I started out cutting it, and I was like, I wonder if it's straight on the selvage, and it was, and I was able to um, to rip it, and um, so of course that was much faster. So then I was, I cleaned out my linen closet this weekend. I guess I'm spring cleaning. <laughs> and I found a bed skirt that I bought before we got, or no, actually I think it might have been, I bought it for my, when I was still single and it didn't fit onto my bed correctly. I needed something taller because my bed was very tall and because it was just, it was, I had a princess bed. It was very tall. <laughs> um, and so I, um, I also processed that bed skirt and it has, uh, an eyelet. So one had the really cool, I can't remember what it's called, but the other kind of lace. You know, the kind that's cut out of the material and um, stitched and I can't even think of what it's called. I know what it is, but I cannot think. So so I had a bed skirt. Um, it was either queen or king. 
of that. Um, some curtains. I f there was a set of curtains that had a couple stains in it. I think that was from the estate sale that I went to last October. So all that is processed and in my my new lace my new lace place, um, I had a drawer that I was keeping 12 by 12 paper pads in and they were too heavy for the drawer, the drawer. So I went back to putting my 12 by 12s in. I have some plastic totes that are on the floor in the bottom of my big closet in the craft room. And so the 12 by 12 pads have gone back there. I thought that just since that drawer was closer to my working area that I would use it. But, you know, how hard is it to go over to the closet? <laughs> it's not that hard. And I couldn't open the drawer sitting in the chair anyway. It's bad for my back. So, so I'm just cutting the along. I'm going to cut all of... The lace out on this particular one I'm not gonna do anything fancy um, I'm not gonna go and do the cutting of um, I'm not gonna cut it up yet because I don't know how I want to use it um, this was really cool because there was really there was no stains in it um, so so you know look for quarter shirts <laughs> that are lace that are amazing and ready to be cut up and you know how much you'd pay if you well that at the goodwill in our goodwills this would be 399 this shirt okay um it's not quite a yard of lace but a, a yard of lace is a pretty penny more than a quarter and, um, you know, for making, what is it that I call them embellishments, but I guess they're calling them snippets when you use lace as your background. I just always called it an, an embellishment, but, um, I guess they're called snippets now. Um, but you can use, cut out pieces of this and use them as snippets. Um, yeah, so... There you go. So just to give you an idea of, and then then this can go, all right, let's see. <clears throat> this can go, actually, because the shirt did not, was not bad. The, I'm going to put the shirt in my, um, in my work in the yard stuff. <laughs> Probably. So I, I got this piece and I can see it, you know, being cut and being a border. Um, like this piece, you can cut along here because this is sewn and it could go on the edge of a book. Wouldn't it be pretty? So anyway, um, and then these pieces can just be cut and um, have decorations put onto it make it turn it into a snippet you could cut along here and that long piece could become a snippet because they do snippet rolls too which is pretty cool so I'm just going to fold this up and it will go into my lace drawer and um so as for this one um I was tempted to keep the pattern of it because the the shoulders and the, the way that the sleeves were looks really good on me, but um, it's not something I would wear. So, let's see. So cutting this, you just I would cut along the where the seams are. And seams at, from lace, you can actually, if you cut both sides of the seam, like this, this makes a good little, well, 
if it didn't have that tag thing there. Well, even with the tag. Um, like a topper for a tag. And you can just use your seams from your lace. And then we'll just... So again, to process it, I would just cut it at all the seams and have it... Uh, and then fold it up and, you know, unless I'm using it right away. But I would fold it up and put it in my um, lace drawer. Now, to process this further, I might go and just cut the flowers out. Like I just did with a tablecloth on the way. On the way to my mom and dad's when we went for Mother's Day, I processed a tablecloth <laughs> the car. My husband's like, what are you doing? Like, cutting flowers out of this tablecloth. So, there you would have a little flower. And you could put it and then put... You could layer, layer some flowers on top of it. Okay. Or you can just put have it be on the book or whatever and bring in some other things and embellish it. So that is how I would process these shirts that I got from the yard sale. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, put them down below. Find something to celebrate every day. Oh, yeah, I also got, sorry, got got some bling in the um, free box as well. <laughs> Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.